We will add a sun with high intensity, a UV sphere for the planet, clouds, and atmosphere, then texture it, and our planet is done. Add a sunlight with high strength. After that, add two UV spheres with the subdivision modifier to make them smooth. Now make the UV sphere for the atmosphere slightly bigger. Enable Bloom, which will help with our atmosphere effect. Finally, set up our space environment by making the background black. For the planet texture, add a Musgrave texture, set it to Rigid Multifractal, then set the dimension to somewhere around 0.2, increase the detail to full, and increase the gain to some very high number. Now we will make this more complex by adding a texture coordinate. Now duplicate your Musgrave texture and mix it with the output of mapping. This will make this texture more complex. Now add a color ramp to add color to the texture, this part will depend on your personal preference, so whatever color you want, just experiment with it or watch some reference images of the planet of your liking. Now we will add a bump node to give it some detail. Now, from the Musgrave output, connect it to the height of the bump and reduce the strength of the bump to very low. Now our planet is mostly done. Now it's time for our atmosphere. Create a new material, then delete the principled BSDF node. Then, add Emission, Transparent, and Mix Shader nodes. And connect the Emission and Transparent nodes to the Mix Shader node. To make the effect happen, you need to set the Blend mode to Alpha Blend. Now, add a Layer Weight node from the Fresnel and connect it to the factor of the Mix Shader. Now, Change the emission color and strength. For more control, add a color ramp node to further customize the effect. We now have a problem, our shadow side is also getting the atmosphere effect. To fix this, we need a diffuse node. Then, Add a shader to RGB and a color ramp. Now, multiply it with our atmosphere factor using the math node. Change the color ramp until you like the effect.
Now that we have a good atmosphere effect, you can experiment with color and emission strength. Before we move further, I will make some adjustments to my planet to my liking. To create the clouds, I will duplicate the planet UV sphere and add a new material. In the new material, I will use the same Musgrave technique as for the planet. I will add it to the alpha of the principal BSDF, and set the blend mode to alpha blend to enable transparency. Increase the detail, lower the dimension, and increase the gain to a very high value. I will mix it the same way as with the planet. Next, I will add a color ramp to control the cloud. Finally, I will add a bump node to add some depth to the cloud. I will reduce the strength of the bump to a very small amount. The planet is done, now you are free to do all of your tweaking and compositing with it.